my name is Emma, and today we are going to be catching some bugs in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I have two bugs that I have left to catch for my museum, and those are the dung beetle and the giraffe stag. Those are the only two that I have left. Um, so we are going to be trying to find those bugs so that I can finish my museum, or finish my um, bug museum. I've still got a few sea creatures to catch after this, but after this video will be one step closer to finishing my museum. So let's get started. The first thing I did was I checked my mailbox because I have something special in the mail today. I got my golden uh, fishing rod in the mail from the Far Away Museum because I got uh, my string fish in my last video. That was my very last fish that I needed and we got it so now I have my golden fishing rod recipe. Um, I definitely want to get all of my um, golden tool recipes and to have made all of my golden tools. I would like to have that those Nook Mile stamps. Um, so yeah, eventually I'll be grinding for some uh, gold nuggets so I can make all of those um, golden tools. And apparently, I, oh, and I got my fish poster as well. Cool. So I'm gonna start first with um, the dung beetle. So the dung beetle can only spawn in um, winter when, it, when it's snowing because dung beetles only spawn on snowballs. So I'm going to use this time to um, to also catch snowflakes uh, in the air um, so that I can make some of the furniture that requires snowflakes. So it's just going to be a lot of running around and finding where the snowballs are spawning, and I found a couple snowballs right here. And I kicked them around a little bit so I could see them a little bit better. And then I'm gonna... Yeah, and then I'm gonna uh, just run around and try to get more, or try to get a dung beetle to spawn, all the while catching some snowflakes. There's Marina, stopping to say hi, getting in my way. So I came back to the snowballs and I saw that they weren't spawning um, a dung beetle. And for some reason I thought if I broke the snowballs, then I could get them to respawn and that would change, like, change the dung beetle spawning. I was very confused about how snowballs and dung beetles worked. Uh, and I'll get into that more later. So yeah, I came back and the dung beetles weren't there. I later found out that you have to go into like a different building and come back in order for the snowballs to come back. I ended up figuring that out a little bit later than I would have liked, but I figured it out nonetheless. I think at this point I thought that my best bet was going to be going to um, a mystery island. I figured that I could essentially make like a tarantula island, but for a dung beetle, I guess. So basically like stripping the island of like everything in the hopes of getting a dung beetle to spawn. So I'm just picking up um, some sticks some, so I can go to a mystery island and catch a dung beetle. So the way that you create a tarantula island or a scorpion island is you um, chop down all of your trees and then you break all your rocks, to, uh, 
chop down all your palm trees and pick all of your flowers. I think some people pick their um, weeds as well, just to free up the space visually a little bit. I don't think it actually affects um, spawning at all. But yeah, I'm just making an axe so I can chop down all my trees. So I started getting some wood. Oh, I guess I needed some wood to make a shovel. Oh no, I needed a wood to make an axe, make a, to chop down my trees. So yeah, if you need to get, you know, some bells really quickly, this is an easy thing that you can do is to go to a mystery island and um, make a tarantula island instead of um, trying to look for a tarantula island. You can just do this and it makes it super easy. And I didn't shake my trees before I started chopping, so I got uh, some wasps angry at me. And for some reason, I thought I should just run over to Wilbur, and I, I thought that it, it would be fine. And he didn't care. He just stared at me the whole time. So I just continued um, chopping some trees. It's kind of a tedious process, and it ended up being for nothing. You will see what I mean in just a second. So now I've chopped down all of my trees, and it's time to get my rocks out of the way. So I'm gonna eat some apples. And pick up the apples, there we go. So I'm just gonna eat these apples and then use my shovel to break my rocks. There's, oh, there you go, okay. I don't know why I skipped that rock in the top right corner. I, I, I don't know how I didn't see that. But now I'm, I'm picking my flowers. And then I will almost be ready to um, catch some dung beetles. And it was at this point that I realized it's not snowing. And I'm pretty sure it has to be snowing for Snowball to spawn. And also, I don't even know if Snowballs spawn on Mystery Islands. I had been walking around this island for like 20 minutes. And not once did I see a snowball, but I still continued doing what I was doing. So I just decided to go around and pick up all of the wood that I chopped down from doing this and I was going to go back home. I did some research um, on how snowballs and dung beetles work. Essentially, you get two snowballs every day so that you can make a snowboy, and as long as you don't make a snowboy, a dung beetle will um, spawn on your snowballs, and you can just walk away from the snowballs if there's not a dung beetle. And eventually a dung beetle will spawn on your snowballs. And if you break your snowballs, you can walk into a building, walk back out, and your snowballs will reappear somewhere else on your island. So if I had done my research before this, I would have saved myself a lot of time and a lot of footage to edit, edit out, but I guess I just had to make it more difficult for myself. So now I'm, we're looking for where the snowballs spawned. And I found them right here where they were earlier. So now I'm just gonna take some time and walk around my island, walk back, and hope that dung beetles will spawn on the snowballs. I 
guess I walked in here hoping that would increase the chances of the dung beetle spawning. I saw a little, uh, I think it's a Kwanzaa decoration. I don't celebrate Kwanzaa, I, not Kwanzaa, but that's, that's really cool that they have that. I'm gonna go back to where the snowballs were and see if and ketchup's in my way. Okay. So there weren't any dung beetles yet. So I just basically did the same thing, still catching some snowflakes. Well, that one was a pain to get. Still no dung beetles, that's okay. We got one snowflake and then we got another one a little bit later. And then another one. And another one. Oh, and one more. Cool. So I kept going back to the snowballs and they weren't spawning um, dung beetles, so I decided to destroy them, go into a building, and um, see if they would spawn in a different place that would be easier to see the dung beetles. So I walked into my Able Sisters and realized they only have Christmas stuff, so I didn't even want anything in there. I was hoping they'd have something cute, but they like only had winter stuff, and it's May right now, so I don't really need any winter clothes. So the snowballs didn't spawn in the same place, which I think is what I wanted, so that's good. Walked by Bob. There isn't a whole lot of space on my island that has open um, grass, so it's really hard to get snowballs to spawn um, in an open area. See, they spawned right here behind these trees, um, so it was really hard to like see if there was even a dung beetle nearby. Not sure like how far you have to walk away or like how long the um, the block has to be out of um, your frame to get something to spawn on it. But I decided it wasn't worth it to have the dung beetle spawn on on this spot because of the trees right in front of it, and I wasn't about to uh, chop down my money trees. Those are accruing interest right now. I thought maybe there'd be snowballs on the dirt, but I guess snow doesn't fall on the the, um, the in-game path dirt. And I thought I saw the snowballs up here. I'm a little, I was a little worried about having the snowballs up here because there's not a whole lot of space. And I ended up being right about that because uh, I came back at one point and there was only one snowball left, so I guess a dung beetle did spawn but it rolled itself into a furniture item and uh, despawned itself, which is sad. And my net broke, so I'm just building a new net. I think this is where, yeah, this is where there was only one snowball left. So I guess a dung beetle spawned and then it just rolled itself either off the cliff or into one of the furniture items over here. So I rolled the other snowball um, into that um, record box and decided to try to get it to spawn somewhere else. So they spawned up here and I immediately saw a dung beetle right by my museum, the perfect place for a dung beetle to spawn. But of course, I scared it away because I got my angle wrong. But that's okay. We are just going to try again. I almost broke that snowball, but I, I didn't do it, so we're all good. I just rolled it back into the snow in an open place where the dung beetle wouldn't despawn itself like it did that one time. And I walked away to get those that dung beetle to spawn on one of the snowballs. Tried to catch this 
Snowflake, there we go, we got it. Came back, no dung beetle. But I did find a snowflake. That's something. I got a lot of snowflakes from this uh, dung beetle adventure, so I'm gonna, gonna have a lot of DIYs to make after this. And I found the dung beetle again on this spot. This is a very lucky spot for me, apparently. And I got it. Got the dung beetle. And I thought about donating it to the museum right there, but I decided to wait until I had the giraffe stag as well. So I changed uh, my date and time um, to uh, June or July. I think July is when the giraffe stag spawns. Yeah. So I changed my date and time to July um, at about 5 o'clock. And we were ready to go um, catch a giraffe stag. So first I went around my beaches to see if I got lucky enough to get a giraffe stag to spawn on one of my palm trees. I was not so lucky. Um, I did find this uh, my aunt, my ama stag though, so that's that's something I suppose. But I I knew this before I started. I knew that I would probably have to go to a mystery island to do this. It's just the easiest way because only five bugs can spawn on a mystery island at once, I believe. So it's a lot easier to catch a specific bug if you're on a mystery island. And there's not as much space that you have to run around. So essentially what I was doing here is I was doing a similar thing that I was doing with the stringfish um, video. Where I'm just running around scaring away any bugs that aren't a giraffe stag to get a giraffe stag to spawn. So giraffe stag can only spawn on a palm tree, so I'm just running through the forest getting all of the regular tree bugs um, out of here, plus the, if the if there's a few, or there's one, I think, um, bug that spawns on the grass um, that I have to scare away as well. So it was just a lot of going back and forth and being very confused about what a giraffe stag is, because that's not a giraffe stag, that's a Mayama stag as well. Yeah. I kept being like very hopeful and being like that could be a giraffe stag, right? And it, it's just not like like this one. That that's not a giraffe stag. That's a that's a cyc cyclomatus stag, cyclomatus stag. I can't I don't know what how you pronounce it, but it's got big mandibles, so I thought maybe it could be a giraffe stag, but it was not. And then I found this uh, golden stag, and I thought it'd be nice to have a golden stag. I'm pretty sure they're worth a lot of bells, um, but of course I, I flubbed it and scared it away, but that's all right. I found some more. Uh, that gold, that um, horned atlas really confused me. It almost looked like it could be a giraffe stag, even though it's not even a stag at all. It's just the huge like antennae or like mandibles that it has like looks like it could be. Oh, and there's there's a giraffe stag. I was going very slowly. I'm so bad at catching tree bugs. Like, I know how you're supposed to do it, and I can, like, I can do the whole waiting until it st uh, starts moving again thing, but I just get really bad at the angles, and I scared that giraffe stag away. So that was frustrating, but I just kept moving. I was uh, filming this, um, in the morning before I had to go to work, so I knew that I wouldn't, I didn't have like a whole lot of time to do this, so I decided to chop down some of the trees to reduce the amount of uh, bugs I would have to scare away. And my axe broke, and instead of building and making an axe, I decided I'd just dig up some trees for some reason. So, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna dig up all these trees. And after I did that, I decided I needed more fruit, so I went ahead and got all of my coconuts. And dug up the rest of the trees. So 
So now there's not very many trees left on the island. Um, so I kept trying to find a giraffe stag with no luck, of course. decided that I was sick of having even a few trees left so I decided to just build an axe and just chop down the rest of the trees that I had um, on the island. This time I decided to shake my trees before I chop them, and lucky I did, because I caught a wasp. <laughs> so now with all my trees gone, it's going to be a lot easier to get a giraffe stag to spawn, because now the only bugs that can spawn are the palm tree bugs and um, the, the bugs that spawn on the grass. I don't know why I went for that saw stag. I knew that it wasn't a, a giraffe stag. I just, I, I guess I really wanted it to be a giraffe stag. I will say walking around these tree stumps was very annoying. I kept accidentally sitting down on them. And then I found this big shark and I figured I'd catch it just to see. I figured However good the shark was would determine how lucky we were going to get on this run. And I got an ocean sunfish, so I took that as good news. Just still a whole lot of just running around, hoping to find the giraffe stag. And I guess I got frustrated and hit the tree with the net. And then I found this golden stag again. I, I really wanted to catch the golden stag. Because I, I do think it's worth a good amount of bells. And I had to go to work shortly after this. So I figured that'd be a nice ending to this particular set of bugs that I was catching. So I decided to close my game and go to work and I came back um, later that night after I got off work and we only had about two hours left in game to catch this thing and I immediately found found it there's the giraffe stag right there that was the first like five minutes of being on the island and I found it being extra careful this time checking all my camera angles to make sure that I get this right because I, I just was not ready to play for another like two hours because that's how long that's how much footage I had in my first set um, before I went to work see I'm, I'm looking up and down and making sure that I'm close enough to get it and I got it I got the giraffe stag super early in my second set of looking and of course my pockets are full. Uh, it always stresses me out and I'm worried I'm going to let it go on accident. Even though I know I didn't let it go. Even looking at it right now, I'm, I was like, don't let it go. Don't release it. Swab it out. So now I have the giraffe stag and the dung beetle. I'm going to go into my crit critterpedia and look at that. It's full. And I got the bugs don't bug me. Uh, that's awesome. That feels so good. So now I'm just gonna go back home and take my new bugs to Blathers. I tried to get uh, my present for my faraway museum, but uh, apparently my pockets were full and I forgot. So yeah, going into my museum and I'm gonna hand over my new bugs to this little guy. <laughs> yeah, 
he's talking about my, my fish poster because I just got my string fish. So, you sent me a fish poster. I didn't know that if you donate multiple items um, and one of them is your last item left, he doesn't do the dialogue about your, um, your bugs being completed. I was expecting him to get super excited and congratulate me, but he didn't. Well, anyways, that was all from me. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so glad that I have all my bugs to done, and now um, the only things I have left in my Critterpedia to get are um, a few sea creatures. Um, I think they're sea creatures that you can get in the winter time, so we're going to have to go back to the winter months um, to catch those sea creatures. I have all my artwork, I have all my um, bugs, I have all my fish. So once I get those three sea creatures, we are all done, and I will definitely film uh, a sea creatures video um, as well to get those last three. Hopefully they won't take as long as the string fish and the giraffe stag did, because I don't know if I can handle that anymore. But yeah, thank you for watching.